Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back for another video on this channel. I was asking myself the question, can I live off of my trading profits? That's the dream, right? Like every trader who's out there on YouTube wants to be a full-time trader, live off of trading profits only, basically not work and still have enough money to live everyday life, right? That's what most people want. And for me, the question was, am I able to live off of my trading profits and it's very interesting because i never really tracked my monthly expenses and i also never really broke down how much money i make on average trading every single month so in this video we will have a look at my monthly spendings for the last month and then also we will have to take a look at how much money i exactly made in the last year to make the comparison. So maybe let's start with my trading profits. So of course, most of the biggest part of my actual trading profits are coming from this account. You can see this account is currently about 63 thousand euro in profit but the problem is if we go all the way up in the history i'm not trading this only for one year but at this point it's about 20 months or so so almost two years <clears throat> so the first thing i did is i was going to my trading journal and i just filtered all of the trades for the last year only so you can see here now i only include the trades from the first 10th uh, 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 October 2024 up until the end of September this year and you can see only these trades are included here and if I filter again we can look at the graph it's still looking great and the profit is really really good it's 47,000 euro and 656 a euro that are generated in live trading profits. So these are profits that I can withdraw from the account. So they will go into my personal bank account available for spendings. And this is one part of the trading profits I made. Then I also traded prop firms and we can also have a look at this here. So this is my FTMO and I was quite successful with FTMO in the last year. I documented everything, had a bunch of funded accounts and as you can see here, most of this was really profitable. I only failed or did not pass one uh, funded account ever in my career with FTMO. So what I did is I was going to the FTMO traders, traders and I saw uh, my payouts here but we have to be a little bit honest and a little bit more transparent here if we really have the actual numbers and this is why we will more have a look at this because this is including all of the fees that i had for challenges that i did not pass and all of the payouts that are ge then generated uh, i mean even though we can see here clearly that all of the payouts are inside of this last year so i could include all of the rewards here basically but i think it's not really the fair way or the right way so what i would wanted to do is also include all of, include all of the ch fail challenges that i had before and i just assumed that in the last year i just took the like the flat number of 10,000 euro of overall profit coming from FTMO, so coming from FTMO into my bank account. So there will be a little bit of a rounding here, of course. It, you could say it would have been a lot more, of course, because um, these challenges are way older, but then also, um, yeah, you, it's just a, a round in an, an estimate here, but these are 10,000 euro, let's say that came from FTMO. So these are my profits that I actually had from short-term trading. I'm not including investments here, obviously. This is coming from short-term short trading. So this is what like, um, yeah, people would include if they say they want to live off of like leverage forex and CFD training. So now, now let's have a look at my costs. And I used um, <laughs> ChatGPT to help me out a little bit here to calculate my actual costs. These are my costs for the last month, uh, which was September, I think, 2025. Here I have to say this month was not my most active months, I would say, because um, I was sick for most of the time. I'm still a little bit sick. And um, uh, therefore, I did not have a lot of like extraordinary spendings and I just had a very normal everyday life. Also, there's one um, like special thing that I did last month, months because I uh, uh, 
attended, like I went to language school because I thought it would be a good idea to learn a little bit of uh, Hungarian because I live in Hungary right now. So this is a spending that of course is not here every month. And also because of this, I didn't have too much time to spend money on other things because I was going to the school every work day. But yeah, with this being said, let's go through this quickly. I, I paid rent, which is uh, a relatively small rent and it would be probably way higher if I would live in a big city in Germany. But here I got quite a good deal. So I only pay 580 euro rent per month. Then I had spendings for restaurants and cafes. This is including um, yeah, basically everything I paid for myself and also when I invited people. So it's also um, yeah, not a like super huge amount. Then grocery shopping, of course, what everyone has, it's like 340 uh, euro that I paid here. Public transport was about 60 euro, credit card and banking payments. Then, as I said, language school here. And then I paid a little bit for the pharmacy and flights. This is not including um, uh, health uh, um, insurance costs. And also this is not... Uh, yeah, including like investments and stuff like this. So these are my costs that I had for like normal living last month. And if I would want to include health insurance, it would be for me around 500 euro per month. But this is of course for everyone different. And some people don't even want to pay for health insurance insurance if it's not um, like uh, a, a, a must have by law in your country. So these are just my living expenses. So you can see this comes down to 1,800. And here, if we have a look at this, we can see, of course, rent is like a big portion of my expenses, then language school, and the rest is uh, mainly food and drinks. And then I asked ChatGPT to do some calculations for me to take <laughs> all of the profit that I generated from FTMO and IC trading. And I, st and I told FTMO that I'm living or that I'm taxed in Germany um, because I'm not like permanent residence in Hungary. I'm just living here for, for the moment. Uh, I still pay my taxes in Germany. So I do have to pay capital income, income tax, which is about 25% plus like um, solidary surcharge. So um, like ChatGPT was doing all of this. So from the um, like trading profits that go into my account, I would have to pay uh, 15,000 euro roughly in taxes, which would give me a net income from trading of a little bit more than 40,000. So divided by 12, this would be around 3,500 euro per month, which is good news because in the last year, I would have been able to actually live off uh, over trading profits only. But there are a few things, of course, that we need to consider. As I said, like this uh, monthly plus that uh, ChatGPT here is calculating with around, I don't know, like depending on church tax that I don't pay, but it's around 1,700. We would, of course, have to deduct uh, my uh, payments for health insurance. And then also a very big thing is that sometimes there are expenses that you do not calculate with. Like, for example, if you get sick, you have to pay for doctors maybe or for uh, medication. If your car breaks down, you have to pay for this. Um, and, and there can be a lot of different things. Also, these are only my expenses for me as a, a like only one person, no children, no like family I have to take care of. So the cost might be different, of course, for everyone else. And then also one more very important thing. This is like all of these calculations are based on the assumption that these trading profits are somewhat stable. And this is very, very unrealistic. Because even though I would consider my track record in the last year actually kind of perfect. I made almost 100% in this single account. Also got a lot of money from FTMO. But you can just not calculate with it like this. Because as you can see here also in my account, I had a drawdown that was almost 25,000 euros. So if I would really live off of my trading profits then I would have to take out 
some money out of my account every single month and then a 25,000 euro profit would be really, really hard on my mental health. So this is why personally, I think living off of trading profits only is a very unstable way of living and not really sustainable. And that's why I always say I, I, do, I just do not recommend it. You can have it as a side income like I do it. It's nice to have, but it's not something I would ever want to rely on. Because for this, I think it's just too unstable. Also, another factor is I showed you I made a lot of money with FTMO. But now, as I said, like I explained it in my previous videos, I don't want to talk about it again, like losing too much word, words on it. But FTMO Corporation ended. So from this point on, I will not get any money from FTMO anymore. So this is why um, this money will not come in the next year. So if I would live off of trading profits only and, I, and the cooperation with FTMO, like any prop from just ends from today on, then it would be like a huge, a huge impact on my income, a huge impact on my personal mental health. And I think this is just, or for me, it was, would be just too much, mm, uh, yeah, too much weight on my shoulders to really to really handle and also if I would have family etc etc so you can see there are a lot of factors also my personal cost of living of course were very very little in the last months uh, and it could be a lot higher as, especially if I would have like um, if I would have to pay for for different things here like a car children etc etc but um, yeah still to summarize this video I, I would have been able to live off of my trading actually in the last year still I don't want to live off my trading profits I do not recommend it to anyone I just wanted to do this for myself to get a little bit of an overview of my expenses and see how it um relates to my actual trading income so i don't know if this was interesting to you but it was interesting to to me so i just thought i would make this video maybe it gives you a little insight in how realistic it is uh, for you personally to live off of trading profits uh, also by the way like in, in this live account that i always show here like um, i trade a fifty thousand euro account even though i don't have the money in my account i would deposit up until I have 50,000 euro in this account. And this is actually still considered risky trading then because if there would be huge drawdown in the indices that which what, what always happens and it can last for multiple years, then it would basically reduce my trading income by a huge amount. And then, yeah, I would just not be able to live off of the profit. So always be realistic. It's not a, um, it's not recommended to like live in a dream world where like you you hype yourself up if you win uh, for a few months or a year like I did here. Uh, it's just not um, how it should be. So stay true to yourself. Trading is a great way to, in uh, to generate income. But I personally recommend that it should be a side income and not your main source of um yeah, of, of income that you want to rely on. Okay, hope you like the insight. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you have any questions, as, as always, also let me know. I read all of the uh, comments and usually reply if I have a good answer for your comment. So um, yeah, I will, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you, if you want to follow the journey and don't forget to like if you like the video. I'm out, bye.